Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Vimal Singh and in this particular video we will see how we can protect our credential. It doesn't matter it is over the mail or maybe word document, SharePoint site, maybe Teams chat, anywhere. So here Microsoft says it has Microsoft Puvio and with the help of that we can protect the credential it doesn't matter where it is. In this particular video first we will understand the concept of it and how practically we can configure this protection. So let's get started. Okay, so I believe this picture seems familiar with everyone. You must have seen such a sticky note somewhere like uh, office or maybe hotel or cafe. So let's imagine you walk into an office and the Wi-Fi password is written on a sticky note or maybe next to the door. So anyone can walk in and use it even someone who should not. So in the digital world, the credentials like username and password or API key and access tokens are like those sticky notes. If exposed, attackers can use them. So Microsoft Puvio helps us to find and protect those credentials even before they get misused. So what needs to be protected? We know how important these username and passwords are. So in the current digital world, we must look for protection for your username and passwords, API keys, uh, SSH key or private key, database connection string, security in configuration file or scripts, and you may have other places where we are using our secrets and keys that must get protected. So here you can see the Microsoft has created some built-in SIT. When I say SIT, it means sensitive information types like credit card number, US social, social security number, basic uh, auth header or make you cloud app credentials, RSA key, AWS access key, Azure key, and many other things. So we do have this SIT. We will identify those keys or secrets from the different files and the SharePoint sites or maybe over the mail and from different places. So we just need to use this existing sensitive types to protect our keys and secrets. Here we can set the policy or I would say the protection policy to identify those sensitive information and protect our uh, organization. So let's break it down like a toolbox. So the first thing that you can see, which is SIT, means sensitive information type, as we just discussed, these are like keyword scanners. So Puvio has built in patterns for common credentials like AWS key, SSS key, or the basic authentication headers. Then we can use DLP policy. These are the security guard and they take action when Puvio detects sensitive info, like blocking it from being shared externally or sending an alert. And the third one is auto labeling. So this is like a warning sticker it automatically adds a label like highly confidential to the document or email if it finds credentials are there. So let's imagine a new intern shares a password over email and that is about the admin login, the shared that username of the administrator and the password. So whenever this mail is being shared, if you have enabled this protection policies, so Microsoft will detect this using a sensitive information type and trigger a DLP policy to block that email from being sent. So the intern might get a message, your message contains sensitive credential, please use a secure method. And this keeps your data safe, even if the user don't know how the information should get protected. Now, what can you do as a security pro when it comes to protecting your credentials? So as you can see, learn to avoid sharing credential in plain text. Do not share in a plain text. Label test files with fake secrets and see if Puvio picks them up or not. Then explore built-in SIT in Puvio to make a policy and try building a custom SIT if you're feeling confident and if you find the custom will meet your requirement. So every step you take towards understanding this Microsoft Puvio and the credential protection, this will not just protect your code, but it will protect your entire organization. And the hackers don't need to hack anymore. They just wait for someone to lick a password. So credential protection is like putting a lock on every door. And Microsoft Puvio gives you a smart AI powered locks that 
alert us the moment something risky shows up. So as future IT and security professional, this is your first line of defense. Okay, so I hope you got an idea what exactly credential protection is and why we should consider it. Now let's see how practically we can implement it. Okay, so to protect our credentials, first we are going to identify the classifiers. So for that, we'll go to data classification. As you can see, I logged in on a Microsoft Purview portal with compliance administrative right. And now let's go inside it. Inside the data classification, you will find classifiers. If you'll go inside the classifier there, you have sensitive info type. Uh, that's the pattern based identification of your sensitive data. And as you can see, there are many that Microsoft has already created. So if I'll go inside this sensitive info type, as you can see, we have different kind of entity. Let's sort it. And as you can see, we have many credentials, sensitive information type. So it depends what you want to protect. You can pick any of this uh, uh, sensitive information type to get it protected. As you can see, there are too many. Now let's explore one of them. As you can see here, we have Azure AD client access token. As it sounds, it will identify if you have kept any uh, Active Directory client access token or the password inside it. So if I'll go to that, that place, there you can see it gives you the test option that you can test how actually it works. But before using it, let's understand how this SIT is designed to identify those AD tokens. So Microsoft has given you the complete and clear document for this particular sensitive information type. As you can see, the format is clearly defined here. The pattern, whatever this sensitive information type uses to identify those data. And the good thing, you have the examples and their definition as well. So we must explore it to understand how actually this SIT or any predefined SIT works at this place. Now, if you can see, this is another credential type, which is all credential type, but this is the entity. If you can check, it's not just credential, it is bundled credential. As it sounds, it's not just going to detect one kind of credential, it will detect many. So let's explore it. And similarly, if I'll go and explore the Microsoft documents, and as you can see, all credential sensitive information type, if I'll scroll it down, there you will get a list of credential type that it detects. Like if you have kept any client secret access key for S3 or maybe ASP.NET machine key or maybe Azure AD client secret or anything which is listing at this place, this SIT will detect and identify. Use list we have at this place. And that's the reason the entity is what? Bundled credential type. Now, we got to know that, okay, we have too many uh, sensitive info type already created with Microsoft. Let's see how we can use those sensitive information type to protect our credentials. For that, we'll come down to information protection. And inside that, we are going to create the labels. As you can see, even the labels are already created. Let's start from the scratch. Click on create label. Here, we need to provide the name as it's mandatory field. Display name is also mandatory field and the description is also mandatory field. So we need to define all these three. Then go to next. Here, as you can see, this is the scope of this label from where it is going to find those credentials. So under the item, you can see if someone has created any file and kept the, uh, kept the credential that will get identified. The emails or the meetings, similarly group and sites, all will get identified. We can also include this schematized data assets, but for this scenario, let's skip that one and go with all these scopes. Now at this place, we can define the protection, like once it identified, it should encrypt or it, the content should get marked. All this point we can enable at this place. And let's skip this because we are just going to test and see the result it detects or not. Uh, we also have auto labeling for the files and emails. so automatically it will create the label if it identifies any file or emails contains that credentials. So if I'll go to this place, let's enable it and see how we can target. So I'll go to add condition and we'll see content contains. And from here, we are going to select our sensitive info type. At this place, we are going to pick this all credential type SIT. 
as we already discussed and checked it out, it picks different or many kind of uh, credentials. So let's go to add. Now here we can set their um, confidence label and also the accent, how it is going to perform. Apart from that, if you can see at last, we have two other things that we can define when content matches this condition, what it should do automatically should apply the label. And you can also write the message that you want to make it visible to the user whenever this label is applied. Now let's go to next. Here we can also define the protection setting for the group and sites, but this we are not going to do it right now. We, as we discussed, we will be checking only the credential from the file and SharePoint sites. Now, there we go. We can also enable auto labeling for schematized. As we discussed, we have not enabled this scope ops and that's the reason this is grayed out. Now, my level is ready and let's create this label. Okay, once the level is created, now what we can do, we can automatically create the rule that will apply the label to the sensitive content. So let's pick that one and click on done. So once you selected this auto labeling option, then here you can see it asks you to create this publish policy. And as you can see the sensitive info type, it has taken all credential type. Let's create the policy. Once this policy is created, click on close. Now, if I'll go to auto labeling because we already created, so this auto labeling is running in simulated environment. So let's go and analyze before making it live that it is working as expected or not. So if I'll go inside that, here, as you can see, it has identified something and we can find those under this review matching items. If I'll go inside, it has detected something like here it says we found one email that has some passwords. If I click on this here, it says, okay, this is what we detected. Similarly, it has found one document. It's a word document that contains some keys or you can say the secret. So now as uh, you can see this particular label is working as expected so now we are going to turn on this policy and let's confirm this now this policy is published now let's test it we're going to this place and here i'm just going to create one email and i'll put some credential inside it so i'm sending it to the adlibens social media password i'm going to put put the password at this place now, once we'll set it, as you can see, automatically the organization has automatically applied the sensitivity all credential because our rule is what auto labeling. Now let's click on send. Now let's go and create some word document that contains some key. So once it detects, if you can see here, automatically this policy tip is coming and says, hey, your organization automatically applied the sensitivity all credentials. Similarly, if I'll go to the SharePoint sites and if I'll try to upload some documents which contains the credential, so what we will expect at this place, it should also get identified and label it. So as you can see, this three file got uploaded and if you see their sensitivity, now it will get applied at this place. As you can see, this all credentials are getting applied. Okay, now, so you saw there, while sending the email or creating the Word documents or uploading some file on the SharePoint side, if it contains any credential, it will detect. But how we can check it out where uh, this policy has detected or not. So for that, we'll come to our content explorer. And from here, we can go and check our SIT, all credential type. And there you can see it has detected one SharePoint site contains something. So here we can go and explore this what sensitive info type has detected and what exactly it has found. So there we are getting Azure Stories and there you saw that Azure Stories account keys uh, got identified, Azure shared access signature, Azure Stories account key and other as you can see here. Now we can also explore the document itself. So if I click on the document there we can find okay this is what it had so it got detected. Now, even we can go and check the activity explorer that tells you about your sensitivity information type and how it is in action. So you can see here what label got applied at what time all this information you can see from here. So if I click on this, there you can see the complete detail, which file got identified, which user was there and all this information you have here at this place. Okay, so I think you got the complete idea. 
logically and practically how we can protect our credentials. So thank you so much for watching and see you in next.